Hello guys and gals, Wyoming Rider here, and today we're going to be unboxing this MaxFun 10 Pro electric scooter it's with dual motors. So without further ado, let's see if we open this box up and see what we got here. Ooh, look in there. Very nice. Oh, just got the, I think the box is in pretty good shape. Like that got pushed down a little bit, but I don't think that's gonna be any problem. It's like they packed it pretty well. A little rough around the edges of the box, but overall it came out really good shape getting here never unbox one of these so don't know exactly what i'm doing here but so this is a Ah, at least we got it standing up now. Not quite sure what that is, but oh, it looks like it goes here. So I see there's one on the other side. I don't know if that needs to be on there, but we'll put it back on there for now. Ooh, it looks like they sent me a t shirt. Oh, on my size, too. That should fit perfect. Double XL. That should fit around my fat gut. It's fantastic. And uh, first of all, I want to thank Max Fun for sending me this to review. I really appreciate you guys sending me this. And I'll try my best to do a really good job for you. And also in the box, it looks like you get some extra little sandpaper pads for the deck here. This is really cool. So anyway, of course, as I showed you, you get a t-shirt. There's another one of those little rubber protector things. It looks like it goes here. I think that's just for shipping anyway. And we get a manual. What else we got in here? Ooh. It looks like I got a, another t-shirt. This one's a little larger. I guess maybe to give you a couple sizes just to make sure one of them fits you. This is a little bigger. It's a 3XL. That might be a little too big on me. That's all right. Maybe my wife could use it as a nightshirt or something, or I can get it some way it fits. But we'll see. Never know what shirt sometimes. Let's put that back in there. Had to find what I did with my trusty Leatherman here. Cut the rest of this plastic wrap. Probably need to sharpen it. I think after years of use, it's got a little dull. I know I did see in this little thing here, there's a little tool kit in here, which I'll show you. you get it cut open here first. I gotta try to this camera on it. See what I'm, doing here. I'm assuming in this box is probably the charger. Yep, got a nice little compact uh, tool kit. And you can tell that's the cord for a charger. See if I can get this box out of here. Get back in the camera. 
can right here. Put that in there. See what kind of charger we got here. We have a 84 volt 2 amp charger. And has this type of connector. As you see, there's one right here. And I did notice too that there was one on the other side down here. So that means you could hook two of these up to it and charge it in half the time. Which is fantastic. I wish they'd do that to, to the bikes as well. Be able to have two chargers like that. All right, welcome back guys and gals. Got it all together here. So let's check it out and see what we got here. Okay, guys and gals, I'm uh, this is the next day. I'm back and I got the scooter charged up because yeah, it only had like 16% battery once I got it uh, unboxed there. I put it together and uh, plus two, I want to go ahead and check my air pressure and the tires and thinking about going ahead and putting the flat out in it right off the bat before you even do anything with it. Probably a good idea. But first, I want to go uh, to show you the the features on it, and so you can uh, see what you got. And we'll start up here with the cockpit. And I already uh, took the two little NFC cards off, and I got one of them on my keychain here. So uh, to turn it on for the first time, you want to put that in front of it, and you see it turns a little light on on there. And once you do that, then you can go over and hit the power button and it should come on. Just like that. Yay, now we're at 100%. And then in that display, I don't know how well you can see it right now. Because it's pretty bright out here. But yeah, it shows uh, two wheels there. So, meaning it's in dual motor mode. And it looks like it's defaulting to kilometers an hour. So, we'll have to go in there and... See if we can change that. But this one to show you. Um, you have an on and off switch here, and that's for the headlight. And it's bright out, so you probably won't be able to see this, but maybe. And I'll uh, try to do that later in the dark. I can turn it on and show you what the lights look like. And it has turn signal. Let's see. Let's see if I could see this. Yeah, hard to see in the daylight, but it looks like turn signal on the rear. And these must just be. Let me turn on. Oh, okay. So these are just like uh, turn on with the headlights. So they're just a plain forward facing light. Turn signals in the back. And we'll turn the other side on. Maybe you can see this side a little better. Not super bright in the daylight, but I can see it. Hopefully the people behind me can see it. And it has tail light, which is also brake light. That's pretty cool. And it has a horn. And I did discover it uh, by accident. This horn will work even with it off. <laughs> And it may only be if this is on. I'm not sure, but I uh, I'd accidentally hit that last night. Kind of scared myself. <laughs> but it has a uh, thumb throttle. And, it, and it's positioned pretty good for me. It may not be for everyone. For me, it's really great. I like where it's at. Looks like it'll be really nice. But we'll find out when I actually get to ride it here. And these do have a uh, nut. Branded hydraulic brakes. This is the front brake. This is the rear brake. So it's motorcycle setup. And has these 
they look like carbon fiber fenders, but they're really like, uh, I think they're plastic, but they look really nice, really cool. And then you, you see me yesterday put a couple of these little rubber things back on. They come off, come off when I was unboxing, but I got them back on and, and you should leave those on there. I'll turn my headlight back off. And also has this, it, it come with an, I think I showed in the unboxing, there's a couple extra of these little sandpaper pads you can put on here. And uh, also, if I didn't see it already, this is a 72 volt, 24 amp hour battery in the deck here. And also has two 40 amp controllers in there. So that means each one of these 1500 watt motors here will peak at 2,000 watts. So essentially, yeah, 4,000 watts of power there. And we're rocking these uh, 10 by 3 inch PMT tires. And they do have a street tread on them. And of course it has dual suspension in the back here and also in the front here. And it does uh, work pretty well. Matter of fact, I'll try to set the camera down here. Just so I can show that off for you. Kickstand up. Of course, as you see, it has kickstand. I don't have the best balance, so. <laughs> but there you get the idea. Very nice and cushy. Let me get my tripod to fold back up now. There we go. So then also you see it has this little hook here. And that's made the hook here so you can fold it and pick it up and carry it. I'll try to demonstrate that. Let's loosen this up. Here, I should probably just lift the camera down here. Back down there. See if I have it loose enough. And it has like a little, looks like a grenade pin over here. And you pull that. And it's not quite loose enough yet. Loosen up a little more. And pull the pin. And it folds down. Just like that. And this folds down and hooks there. So then you could pick it up. And it is not fun to pick up because it does weigh like 90 pounds. This is not a not a light scooter. So it's pretty heavy. It is a nice good solid chunk of aluminum there we go so I just got to pull the pin bring it up and then tighten it back down of course I probably almost ooh, loosen that but that's okay get it tightened back down locked in good yep, not going anywhere so then it does have that little pin as a safety Here, and I'll uh, fold this back up here. And I need to tighten this down. But I have figured out if you, you hit this plus, it does change your pass level. Seems like it has three. And if you hold it, you'll see it changed the one wheel there. So now it's only rear wheel drive. And if you hold it again, of course, puts it back in dual motor. Which I probably should put it back in single for now to get used to it. See what that does. I hit menu. It's average speed. Max speed. 
which was 80 kilometers. Now, now so what happens if we hold this? Oh, that's how you get into the settings, apparently. Huh, wonder how you get to... Oh, there we go. P2, I don't... I'd have to get the manual out. I don't remember what all these do. But anyway, that's how you get in there. Hold it down again, see if we can get out of there, hopefully. Eh, not sure there, but yeah, we'll, we'll look it up in the manual. Put that back down. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check, like I said, I'll, I'll make sure the air pressure is good. And I, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the flat out in it. Just so I don't have to worry about any flats. Because so, that would really suck to get out somewhere and then have a flat and have to push it back. So, all right, I'm, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to show you what I was doing here, actually, because this is so freaking cool. Okay. So, after only working on with e-bikes and stuff, this being the first scooter, I can say, man, this is this process of putting, like, flat out or just working on this scooter is so much easier because, as you see what I did here, I just took it, set it up on this metal chair. So I can reach it much easier. Even though the thing weighs like 90 pounds, I can just pick it up, set it up there, and I can work on it. And they did put the valve stems in the tubes where they kind of stick out there. And you see what I did? They took these little, you know, those vice grips so I can keep the valve stem from going in. So that way I can use that to put my flat out on. And I already got it in the back when I just hadn't aired it up yet. And now I'm going to finish doing it, but... I just had to demonstrate to you how easy this is with a scooter. You just set it right up here and work on it. Definitely uh, much more portable than a bike, you know, or at least the bigger bikes like I have. Anyway, just want to show you that, and hopefully I'll get to show you a ride here in a few minutes. All right, guys and gals, I'm back. Got it outside, and right now I just put it in. I figured out how to change it to my own hour. Um, basically you do that by hitting this M like twice and it basically goes to this menu here and what P1 does is I have it all the way on 5 and that's the backlight so that does the backlight brightness do it again I remember what 2 does I turned that all the way up it uh dang it I can't remember what that one does anyway 3 it was set to zero. You set that to one. That changes the mile per hour. And four is the amount of uh, pedal assist, which you know, is don't have any pedals. But anyway, it has a pass levels the same way as say like an e-bike. So it was defaulted to three. I set it up to five because that's what I'm used to. I'm used to having five. And that, it doesn't tell you what it does, I don't know. I don't know if it's like for a password or something, not really sure. Anyway, you hit M twice again and it takes you back out of that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back again. I'm going to take two on this, I don't know if I'll leave and uh, show the first one because I don't think the audio recorded on it. But I tried it once and it didn't quite tighten this handlebars up enough. It should be good now. Because it kind of twisted on me so I didn't get very far and it came back. In that uh, camera mount on my helmet that I usually use is like too high for this. Because you stand up really, really tall. So I decided to use the chest mount instead. I'll put it back on single motor here and we'll try this again oh I forgot you gotta put it in pass two pass two is basically a uh, first gear 
I say in case I don't play the other part again, I'll explain that. By default, it was set to have three pass levels. And I changed that from three to five. So now it has five, because that's what I'm used to. But you really don't get five. I, I think it's more like you get four. Just like with the, well, both of my uh, goat bikes, it, it has a zero. And I usually use it on zero. Zero, you get no throttle, you know. Here, let's, uh, let's do this test right here. So when you basically you put it in two, you really put it in one, say like on an e-bike. So let's put this all the way in five. I'm going to do this steep hill here, the single motor, and we'll see how it does. Get going here. Ugh, there we go. <laughs> Still getting used to this. Oh, yeah, no problem. Even in single motor. Feels so much different than a bike. You stand up really tall, very nimble, and very quick. And you can definitely uh, feel the power of these uh, 1500 watt motors in the 72 volt battery. Hold this down, hold down the plus basically, put it back in the dual. We'll, uh, try not to kill yourself here. Is this thing will spin out? <laughs> here we go. See how it climbs the hill. <laughs> Holy cow. Whew. Dang it, those handlebars still moved on me a little bit. Holy cow, this thing. Acceleration is nuts in two. Put that back down in one. <laughs> Yeah, I need to bid the brakes, of course. So I just want to get a little more used to this where I go doing too much crazy stuff. Especially since I don't have my uh, Yon Rider jacket on right now. Because it was so hot. Now it's starting to cool down. I could probably wear it now. I'm getting too hot. But I really wanted the feel of it without it on, too, because it's kind of restrictive, you know. And I didn't put my gloves on because I wanted to see how the grips feel. I had them on the first time, and I was like, well, I need to try it without them. Because that's the only way you get a feel of the grips and how much they hurt your hands and stuff like that. So far, they seem pretty comfortable. I like these little palm wrist things on them. Those are pretty nice. This takes a definitely a little to get used to. And we're to stand where I feel the best right now. I kind of got one foot behind the other one. And, I, and when I go faster, I put it back on that little part on the back. Especially if you put it in dual motor, because man, it like uh, the G Force, it just throws you back. <laughs> it is wild. Definitely wild. Pretty uh, crazy. I think I'll put it up in the four here. Try that now. Getting used to the steering. It was a little wobbly. Yeah. Because it's a, got little 10 inch wheels. So. And there is no uh, steering dampener on this one. Or damper. But I don't really know if it needs it yet. But I do have one that, was, that I tried out on one of my goat bikes. So I could uh, probably put that one on here and it would match the color to you. 
And of course I need to put a mirror on here too. I was going to put one of the flexible ones on there, but it was just kind of, uh, didn't want to fit on the bar right. I had to fool around with it to get it on there. Figure that'll work for now. I just kind of got those for, you know, like these review scooters and bikes and stuff. But yeah, I mean, so far this thing's been a lot of fun. Definitely a different experience. I'm getting more and more used to it now. Ooh, see that was a little squirrely there. <laughs> that was my fault though. So you just don't really even need to turn the wheel. You just lean and it goes with you. Just used to those fat bikes with the fat wheel so it just feels so much different now so much more nimble damn seems like my speedometer might be a little off there maybe a mile an hour or two But I know this scooter's got a lot more in it, and it's a uh, ooh that dust cloud. Car stirred up all kinds of dust on me there. Oh, and I just realized I got my stupid blinker in the whole time. Oh, we should turn that off. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'm just looking at the battery. Yeah, it's still at 97 percent. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Ow. Bug just hit me right now, eyeball. I need to put my visor down. <laughs> you definitely don't want to take your hands off of the handlebars on this thing. Not like a bike. Definitely not like a bike. But suspension wise, wow, this thing is fantastic. It rides so smooth, takes the bumps really good. I'm gonna stop when I put my visor down. So I don't get hit in the face by the bugs. All right, let's let's put it back down some. I'm gonna try the dual motors again. Start in three here. Holy cow, the torque! <laughs> the torque is insane. So even in three, we're going about yeah, 25. It's speed on says 26. GPS is saying 25. Say so we got a snowstorm coming, so I don't know if I got a time to, enough time to get used to it enough to try to do a good speed run yet. Definitely need a little preparation for that, I think. I'm gonna turn my there we go. We got the floor here. Climb this hill. Doing like 30 <laughs> or at least 28. That's crazy. Wow, this is freaking fun. <laughs> this is a blast, guys and gals. This is a blast. Definitely, if you have poor balance, though, <laughs> you may not want one of these. It might not be best because of the inner ear problems I got, but. But the bike actually, riding my bikes has really helped with that. It has really improved my balance. And I suspect this will too, because it kind of forces me to. Because yeah, I do have some major inner ear issues. You definitely tell the way the controller and stuff works in this one. This must be a sine wave controller. Because I don't know if I can even show you. But if I just barely hit it, I'm just doing 13. <laughs> Probably a little more. 14, 15. It seems like there's, it's more variable than most of your budget e-bikes, which is pretty much all I have. <laughs> just spun out again. 
And this dual motor is insane. And this is that really rough road I complain about with my power good all the time. Yeah, much smoother on this. This is crazy. The suspension is fantastic. On this car here. Still at 93% battery. Wow. Still at 93. Let's see. And it says. I think that's still showing kilometers just tracking down there. This uh, went six miles. Now it must be miles. Because they both say like six miles. And that's all I've lost, yeah. Even running a dual motor here. I'm sure if I put it on single, this thing will get great range. Anyway, I'm just making this video to be a first impression anyway. And like I said, because I need to gain a little skill before I can give you a true speed test and things like that. I'm, I'm really confident on the bikes, not so much on these. You know, like I said, this is the first one I've ever had. Heck, and I haven't run a, rode a kick scooter since, scooter since I was maybe 16. Probably the last time. A couple of them, you know, back in the day. And you older guys remember the ones that had like the little bicycle tires, yeah. I had one of those, and I had one that had hard wheels too, but it's been a long time, you know. <laughs> so I'm almost 51 now, so it's been a long time ago. So here I am, 51 old, year old fat dude riding a, a scooter. And this is a fast one. It's a lot faster than I am. But man, I'm telling you guys, the more I ride this thing, the more I like it. This thing is freaking fun. And it's portability. It's, I've already discovered that. This is easy to work on. I just set it up on a metal chair in the backyard and uh, I can reach everything. So much easier. And I want to stop, but uh, it's just too much fun. I can't. I gotta keep going. <laughs> Sorry if I make this video too long. I'll cut a bunch of it out probably. So I'm just uh, having a blast right now. It's so much fun. Man, that acceleration is just indescribable. <laughs> ah, <laughs> have to get used to that though. Let me stop. Not quite used to how low the deck is there. Or how high it is, I should say. It's a little further down to the ground than I anticipated there. Definitely not like the old scooters that I had when I was a kid. This thing sets up so high or when you stand on it you're so high it's like uh i'm as tall as a truck you know you can see everything which that's great i'm thinking one thing i would like and i could probably easily uh change on here myself is to put a little wider handlebar on it i think that'll make it feel even more uh stable even a little more control This one's not bad, but it feels a little bit narrow. 
Plus, I want to put my stuff on it. Oh, and there's the, <clears throat> the crazy uh, clown thing again. Should show you guys a closer look at this thing. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, burn out. <laughs> and I didn't even give it full throttle. <laughs> you probably have. And it's burning out. I'm still in four. I haven't even put it in five. But I did that one time when I climbed the hill. I haven't really seen a need for it down in the neighborhood here. Go that fast. Wait till I get out there in the open area. I should kind of try to bed these bricks on, but uh, make them stop squeaking. Yeah. The car's probably like, what is he doing? Sorry. He's trying to bed the bricks. That's pretty good. The back one's pretty good right now. Let's try the front one so Yeah, that's the one that's squeaking. Yeah, this is a good steep hill. Okay, how do you go down here? Oh, it turns into a new boot. Holy crap. That is insane. I had a hard time just holding it straight. It was burning out. That front wheel. And these uh, PMT tires are fantastic. <laughs> 30 almost instantly. That is insane. Oh, all of that. Let's see. Still got 80%. <laughs> Actually, I know I got I had a little voltage sack, so 86%. And that's where I went like 8.2 miles. That is pretty impressive range. Especially for something that doesn't even have any pedals. Hello guys and gals. Oh, I'm going right here. And now we're out here in the dark because I want to show you the lights on this uh, scooter here. Of course, if you don't know, this is the Max Fun, the 10 Pro. Uh, let's see if I can. Here we go. So I'll show you the lights. They're pretty bright. If 
I can turn it on here. May have to adjust him some. They look like they're back a little too high there. That looked pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty bright. The uh, they're not bad. Let's see what they're like when I'm driving. They do kind of fan out a little bit. I wish they were slightly wider, maybe, but overall, I think they work pretty good. Of course, those tail lights are bright. See how the blinkers look at night. Oh yeah, that's nice and bright too. Pretty good. All right, let's see. It's actually not too bad at all. They're pretty bright lights. I do wish they, like I said, I wish they were a little wider. But overall, they look pretty good. Not that far. Well, yeah, hopefully that uh, gives you a good demonstration of how bright the lights are and how well you can see with them. I might can raise mine up a little bit now. I think maybe I got it too low. I pushed it down some, but now I think I got a little bit too low. Really get right there. Let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Yeah, very nice. Man, that's just in the past three, which is basically two in here. Well, thank you for watching again. Welcome back, guys and gals. And I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and the first look at this MaxFun 10 Pro scooter. It retails for $21.99 and it's worth every penny in my opinion. This is a fantastic deal. It's very appropriately named because it is a lot of fun, let me tell you. And the, the, the speed of these dual uh, 1500 watt motors, fantastic. I mean, it when you uh, hit that throttle and those both wheels take off, it's just indescribable how much fun it is. It's just so fast. <laughs> it is ridiculously fast. Um, very good suspension. 
I mean, worth every penny at the retail price. But I do have a discount link, and, and I'll put it in the description below. But just use that to get to the site, honestly, right now, because you're going to get a better deal with the sale that's going on. Because right now, they currently have it on sale for $17.99. Fantastic deal. Very, very worth every penny there, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, because it is a great, great scooter. I had so much fun riding this thing, and I'm not done. I'm just getting started. I'll make definitely be making more videos on it. Definitely going to give you a good top speed run, so you see. But I have no doubt it's going to at least come very close to the advertised top speed of 45. I'll, I'll see it'll probably do at least 43, because it is that fast. I mean, it is fantastic. And these grips are really good to see. They don't move around. That's great. So, yeah, it may not be the cheapest scooter out there, but it's well worth the price, in my opinion. Um, and my opinion on things that might can improve on it, the light is very bright on the front, the headlight, but I do wish it was a little wider. And I would love to see a uh, regen brake, which it doesn't have, but it has great regular brakes, but I, I would love to see a regen brake. And maybe a rubberized deck. But that's the only things I can really think of that they can really improve because everything else is fantastic. It's good. It's solid. Doesn't feel janky. It's, it's great. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. Please consider liking and subscribing. Please hit the bell so you get notifications when I make new videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.